Hey guys, so we now have confirmed information as into when Apple is set to release iOS 26 developer beta 4 and the first public beta for iOS 26. So I wanted to get on here quickly and share the latest details in regards to iOS 26 beta release schedule. But I also wanted to talk about Liquid Glass because it feels like iOS users are divided. Some users really love Liquid Glass and some users want Apple to get rid of Liquid Glass entirely. So we've put together a concept that I think will help Apple save iOS 26 so that everyone loves iOS 26 once it is available to the public. So I wanted to share this concept with you guys in today's video. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So the first thing I want to talk about is this concept that we've put together for Liquid Glass within iOS. 26 that we believe can help save iOS 26 for users that love it or hate it, right? The new liquid glass design. Now, big shout out to Zach over on X. Make sure you give him a follow. I'll link his profile in the description down below. He's been pumping out some amazing new concepts and design. I highly recommend you check him out again. Links will be available down below for his profile. Make sure you give him a follow. So right here, he's put together this really nice concept of the display and brightness section of iOS 26 or what we've imagined it to be for the liquid glass design. You see here we have liquid glass appearance right below right here. And then at the bottom we have the scrubbers. So all the way to the left that would be liquid glass entirely and all the way to the right would be sort of a frosted glass. And let me show you this in action because we do have a clip here that I wanted to show you. So right there you see the toggle at the very beginning entirely liquid glass. If we go ahead and move it to stage two, it adds a little bit of opacity and so on as you increase the stages to stage four and stage five, it transitions to what we essentially have now, which is the frosted glass design that Apple added with iOS 26 developer beta three, where you can kind of see behind the actual UI, as you can see right there behind the controls right here. But it is something that is not as clear as it was with beta one. Again, you see there the actual concept for the appearance, stage one, complete liquid glass, stage two increases the opacity and so on, stage three, right in the middle for those of you that sort of like it, but not really. And then all the way to the right for frosted glass for those of you that just do not like liquid glass. And I think this could help Apple save iOS 26 in the long run for everyone to update and love the operating system. That way, for those of you that really love liquid glass can have the liquid glass, for those of you that don't, then you don't have to necessarily live with it. So let me know what you think about this in those comments and down below. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is obviously the release date. As I mentioned, we essentially now have confirmed information as into when Apple will be releasing the fourth developer beta and the first public beta for iOS 26. So earlier today, Parker over on X mentions that he was surprised that the first public betas haven't dropped just yet. And as you can see right here, Mark German quickly chimed in and said, around the 23rd, which means the 23rd of July, obviously. And that seems a little bit late, but it looks like that's going to be the case as we still do not have the first public beta out just yet. Now, if the first public beta is set to release around the 23rd, which could mean the 22nd or 23rd or 24th, obviously, because it's around the 23rd, as Mark Gurman mentioned, that means that a day before, Apple will most likely release the fourth developer beta, which means next week on Monday, July the 21st, expect iOS 26 developer beta 4 and then a day or two later expect the first public beta to the general public so if anyone wants to try out iOS 26 before the official release in September next week will be the week when Apple should be releasing iOS 26 public beta 1 for everyone to try out and there you guys have it let me know what you think about this in those comments down below thank you for watching I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys on the next one peace